Hello and welcome back to the Frank Olson Twins YouTube channel. Today we're working on something that I've been excited about for a long time. This is a wood replica of a 1940s RCA 44 microphone. Today we're working on the ribbon motor, which in my case is made of wood and magnets. Here we go. These parts have been cut from a single ply walnut veneer on a consumer CNC vinyl plotter. Each veneer is stacked with the grains in opposite directions to create a cross ply format. After the parts are tacked together, I glue all the edges to let the glue wick toward the center before adding pressure for a full minute. I'll also assemble some mounting brackets and the ribbon mounting plates. A CA glue finish is applied to the entire surface and quickly wiped off. Now the interior mounting surfaces must be sanded flat. The exterior surface gets several grades of sandpaper to a light matte finish. Now the magnets are glued into place. I use a spacer to get them perfectly aligned before glue up. The glue cures almost instantly, so you have to get it right on the first try. A final application of glue finishes the body. I carefully remove any glue from the interior surfaces of the magnets with acetone. Now I install the ribbon mounting plates. Copper tape is cut and installed onto the plates. These are the ribbon and wire contacts. The mounting plates are screwed onto the front. Baffles are cut out of two-ply walnut veneer and gauze is glued to them. 
Baffles will control wind blasts as well as taming some bass frequencies. A carefully bent loop of wire will act as a shield against buzz around the ribbon element. It will act as a connection point for the transformer. Another wire is soldered to the opposite end. The ribbon is cut to exacting width and corrugated with my DIY ribbon crimper. Once installed and lightly stretched, the ribbon is checked against the light and tightened. The resonance is checked by running a sine wave signal through the ribbon. I make sure it resonates down to at least 20 Hz, but in this demonstration you can see it moving the ribbon even as low as 1 Hz. The baffles are installed, and it's ready to be hooked up to a transformer and tested. I created a little cradle to temporarily hold the mic during testing. In fact, this entire narration was completed using only this microphone. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.